wind and helicopters and uh, watering. Yes, watering is the key and I'm going to talk about what I'm watering in just a second. Hi, it's Amy on Hummingbird Hill and I just thought I'd bring you out for a really quick look at something I started. When I was pruning my tomato plants, I pulled off some suckers and like I said in that video last year, I just pulled off the suckers and put them in the dirt in the bed next to the tomato bed and saw what happened. And this year I was like, it's 100 degrees, I'm going to try this again. So actually, I put in four suckers. No, three suckers that day and then I pulled two more off a different plant and put them in. So I'm just going to show you what those plants have been looking like over the past nine to ten days so you can get an idea of what's kind of normal when you just pull a sucker off a tomato plant and put it in the ground. And I want to keep you updated on the progress of these over the rest of the summer. So take a look real quick at what the last ten days have looked like. Day two of the tomato sucker rooting experiment. Obviously trying to root them on two days in a row where we have over um, 98 degree weather, so 100 yesterday, and it might have gotten to 100 today. I haven't checked because sadly I totally fell asleep and now I'm rushing to get everything watered. It's just one of those days, but I thought I'd let you know. Update, this is what they look like day two. I am not panicking because this is what has happened before, so we'll see if they make it through despite this hot weather. So these are the tomato suckers that I took off and stuck into the ground day two after removal. It was only 86 today, so it was not in the hundreds. And you can see that they are totally perking right back up. Um, you may not be able to see that, but they totally are. I'll keep you posted on how they look tomorrow. Day three of putting the tomato suckers in the ground. This one, as you can see, is looking a little bit better. It's also a little smaller than this one over here, so I'm going to have to trim a little bit of this off. Um, I think this top part will still survive, but I should have already trimmed. Hold on. Uh, this one, and I think I'm going to leave it that piece for now just so it can get a little extra sunlight in. Um, but yeah, this one's looking a little better. This one, we'll see how it does. Day three of tomato suckers rooting by themselves. Pretty sure I forgot to film day four yesterday. I think it was day four. But anyway, day five of just taking those suckers off the plants and putting them in the dirt. This is what they are looking like. So there you go. Day six of the transplant of the tomato suckers into the dirt next to the tomatoes. They are perking up. As you can see, yes, there are definitely some drying leaves. These need a good soak. It was warmer today than I expected. But this is what they're looking like. Now, I did go ahead and pull <laughs> a couple of other starts, and those were just put in last night, and that is what they look like. So it's day one for those. Day, I think, six for these, these over here. Just an update. I totally forgot to come out yesterday, and this is probably upside down. That's funny. Let me start again. Hold on. Rotate. Um, I totally forgot to come out yesterday and check these guys. It's been pretty cool, so I didn't feel the need to water everything else. I came and watered these this morning. So this is, I don't know, day 9, day 10 of these guys just being pulled off as suckers and put into the ground. As you can see, they're totally perking up. And I'm going to be flooding them just like I'm doing those two over there. Those I just pulled off two days ago, so I should have watered them yesterday, but I didn't. So they're looking a little peaked, but they'll come back. Apparently, I'm growing more tomatoes than a plan this year. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining me for just that quick little view of what my tomato suckers are looking like at the moment. Like I said, I will keep you updated over the next... <laughs> um, the adopted nephew is running around in the background, so you may hear some screaming. Don't worry, no one's dying. It's just a child playing. Um, <laughs> We will see you next time and I hope you'll come back so we can do some more growing and experimenting together.
I'm out here trying to figure out if the swarm that I have is bees, or it's not really a swarm, if the hive I have is bees or hornets or something, and the hummingbird was super close. So I just picked up the camera to film it, and oh my gosh. So hopefully there's some footage of the bees that I can use, because an expert is trying to help me figure out if they can come out and move the hive, or if it's something I need to get rid of because it's like hornets or something like that. I'm hoping it's not. But that, I hope this caught the hummingbird I couldn't see through the, the viewfinder because I had it turned the other way, and I didn't want to scare it by fiddling. So. Oh, that was, I hope, a gorgeous close-up because literally I'm two feet away from the feeder and the hummingbird was right there and it was so pretty. I hope you get to see that. Okay, I'm gonna stop this, turn the camera back around and go back to trying to capture the bees on film. Wish me luck. I'm just walking back up the hill from the garden. I came down to see if I could get better footage of the hive that is in one of the, the logs that I have weighing things down. The sky is amazing today. Let's see what you can see. Um, it's just beautiful. And it's rained, but it's cleared up. And then it rains and it clears up. And you know, all the things. I got an amazing, oh, that's better. <laughs> now you can see the sky a little better. I got an amazing close up, I hope, of a hummingbird when I was trying to capture the bees on footage. The expert said that they might be wasps, so which is what I thought at first are hornets because usually we have ground hornets um, and there's, those are, it's a low lying, it's in a stump, I'm obviously a log on the ground. So it's in a low lying area, but they weren't behaving the way that hornets or wasps usually do. So that's why I thought they might be bees. So I sent a video from yesterday to the expert and they asked me to do a little more footage and like take some meat down there to see if the wasps were interested. Oh my gosh, I think there's a vulture up there. Or an eagle. You can't see it because it's a sky and I keep wanting you to see all the cool things in the sky and you can't because you're too far away. <sighs> this is harsh. Um, so I took some ham down, put it on the log. It was out there for about 20 minutes. The bees flew in and out and totally ignored it. So, look at that sky. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. And the cat is trying to kill me. You see this? That is right where I was about to step. Spot, please stop trying to get squished. Harley, you're just as bad. Don't try and look all innocent. So this is amazing sky. I'm heading back upstairs and inside to get some work done because it is a little sunny now and I burn like crazy if I don't have sunblock on. And I don't have sunblock on. Because, you know, I was more interested in bees than sun protection. Oh, look at that tree. That's my favorite tree. Isn't it pretty? It's a beauty. And the sky and the green fields. This will all be brown soon enough. Um, this is actually a, it's such a weird weather year, but it's also a good weather year. This is kind of what June used to be like. But the last couple of years we've headed from May all the way through September into the 90s with basically no rain. Um, oh, look at the cow. Look at that big beast. Doesn't look so big from here, but if I were up close to him, that, that sucker's taller than me. And I'm 5'6". It's a big cow. Hold on, let's go back out and see the sky some more. Anyway, I'm heading back upstairs to get some work done. The hill. Um, the hay is amazing and remarkable, except where the chickens have kind of scraped it away. So there are some spots where there are some big weedy spots. And then I need to do something with the black plastic tarp in the middle. That needs attended to because while it's working, it's kind of sliding all over and it's really dangerous to walk on. But yeah, that's just kind of what I'm looking at walking up the hill. I'm going to go see if I have any good footage of the bees that I can send. Oh, look, the whole herd's here. Oh, look, there they are. Aren't they pretty? I do rather enjoy having neighbors with interesting animals, like I said, so I do not have to scoop all that poop because that is a whole bunch of poop there. Anyway, I'm gonna head inside and get some work done. This will probably be in my video for tomorrow, which is kind of just about the tomatoes and things going on, but I think I wanna tell you about the bees too because I'm pretty excited about that. If they are bees, it's so cool. And if they aren't bees, then I have to figure out how to get rid of them. Um, but if they're bees, I want to relocate them to someone in somewhere where they can flourish. I'd happily keep them in the garden, but I don't want to risk 
disturbing the hive or stepping on the hive or anything like that because it is so low to the ground and if kids are in the garden I don't want them accidentally Ooh, oh hold on big it's is that a vulture let's see if he swoops back around oh come back this way look at that thing can you see look 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 there you can see so pretty is that an eagle or a vulture we have amazing vultures out here they work so well together I never knew vultures were so cool until I lived in the country you do not see vultures in the city but I don't know if this one's on a scouting mis mission or what, because usually they travel in groups when they need to clean something up. And they take turns and have the best manners. Look at that thing. I think that's a vulture, because that is a huge wingspan. I wonder if something passed away over there. Happens frequently. You know, because it's life on the farm. Anyway, you can't see him now. He's swooping back behind my favorite tree. But that is just the, oh my gosh, and the weather, it's so gorgeous today. I wish y'all were here, we'd have some tea and sit on the porch and the cats would get you all fuzzy with their furs. The puppies would not get you all fuzzy because they are currently at the beach with their grandparents. But, look at that. See that thing, come this way baby. Swoop this way, keep swooping away from the camera. Don't you know anything about making a good cameo? Apparently not, because now he's going behind the tree again. All right, I give up. I'm gonna go inside and get my video to post tomorrow ready. So you'll be seeing this tomorrow at some point. Anyway, <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna fit it in with the tomato video. It's gonna be some sloppy editing, but that's okay. It's too beautiful and too gorgeous out not to share it. I hope everything's going well with you, and I will see you on Monday with another video. Bye. <laughs>